Today I'm going to show you how to reset your Polycom Soundpoint phone and also show you how to upgrade the Polycom software and configuration files using the publicly accessible Polycom provisioning server. First step, power on your phone and then you're going to hold down the 1, 3, 5, and 7 keys. Press 4, 5, 6 and hit OK and it will reset the phone. It'll take a minute to reset and restart. And this is the Polycom 450, so uh, if you have a different model, it might be a different key combination, so make sure to verify that before starting. Okay, when it comes up, press the Setup key and enter 456 as the password. Go down to the Server menu change the server type to HTTP and we're going to enter the server address which is VoIP T2 dot polycom dot com Once you have that in there, you're going to press OK. And then exit, exit, and save and reboot. Uh, when it comes up, it's going to connect to Polycom's provisioning server. And it will download the proper files. You can hit start to skip that. Save you a few seconds off of your time. Um, and this whole process usually takes about two to three minutes, uh, but it does depend on your your connection and your setup. You can see it's downloading the new boot ROM right now. <clears throat> One thing I want to mention while we're waiting is that um, Polycom does have different directories on this provisioning server for different versions of the software. Uh, so if there's a specific version you need to update to, make sure to visit the website and check the directory to see if, if, it's, if it's available. Um, and that website again is voiptt2.polycom.com. Just a little bit longer here. All right, now that it's updated, it's going to reboot the phone. And formatting your file system and rebooting waiting for the network to initialize Alright, now it's downloading the uh, application. Saving application.
this can be boring so if uh, you have a lot of these I recommend just starting it and coming back to it when it gets done it'll save you a lot of time almost done it's checking loading hey right, and you can see here it's just running the generic zip file almost completely loaded and you can see it's at the default screen now <laughs>